Hi everybody, Bobby Ogilvie, Project Manager and Professional Coach. So today's question, what is the best leadership quality? So obviously this is going to be debated and different people are going to have different views. And you could even say situationally, depending on kind of what your pain is, different leader qualities, different leadership qualities will be needed. Um, but I would say the best leadership quality is the the regard and acknowledgement that you need others. Um, and I think, I think this is important for a few reasons, so I'll break it down. Um, one, on a personal level, it's a realization that everyone has strength in gap areas, and no one person um, has all strengths and has time to execute all strengths. So um, it, simply that is a, an initial issue to say you can't do everything, you're therefore going to need other people. Um, then in a practical sense, um, and this is kind of echoed a lot in transformational leadership, um, you need to work alongside others. You, uh, they're, they're going to be there, so get used to it. And in some sense, it's this outer regard for, I want to connect with others, I want to connect with the world. This isn't, it's, leadership isn't just about you in some solitary box in your mind coming up with this perfect strategy and then executing it. That's crazy, right? And so there's this phenomenal regard for others, the world, for evidence, for trying experimentation. Um, I think that... Uh, that worldliness, that that uh, worldly kind of pragmatism is good. Um, and then maybe more on the people and execution side, that the regard for other people and that um, you, you need to ultimately delegate and start to expand roles and have people take on other things for you to scale. Um, one of the big delusions, you know, consciously or unconsciously of micromanagers is that so they have this kind of attitude of, I'm okay, you're not okay. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm this capable salesperson or engineer or whatever, but I couldn't possibly trust you to do the job. And um, whenever things get tough or things hit the fan, uh, they think, oh, well, more of my work can solve this problem. No, that, that that's unscalable. That's a crazy way to think. Um, I know I've heard on this before on other videos, but like Marissa Mayer or Myers, when she talks about her 130-hour uh, work week, that's crazy. No one should do that. And particularly as a, like a, as a leadership quality, that's horrible. Like this notion that like this is a worthy, that this is a healthy act and everyone else should be inspired to do that too or should be held to that standard. No, that, that's insane and dangerous. No, and she she actually she herself is a horrible micromanager. So that is definitely one of her gap areas. She does have certainly other strengths. She's, you know, she's very precise. Um, which is good for a CFO role. That's what you need, right? But um, yeah, anyway, micromanagers, um, not good, not good leaders, um, not good scaling. So particularly if you are in a high growth, high expansion mode, that is that is not what you need. That is not what you need. Um, working with others too is important too, even from a personal, personal growth, a leadership development standpoint, in that it's about other perspectives. Um, so beyond saying it, it builds relationships and it's, it's a you know mutual disclosure actually builds rapport very very strongly very quickly. Um, this notion of wanting others' feedback and wanting others wanting to see how others view you is actually how you learn the best. So particularly if you think of from a mastery orientation, how do you get better at things? Um, it's by asking and seeking other people's feedback that, that you do that one of the biggest delusions of people who are not very self-aware is um, they're not very good at judging other people's results accurately, objectively. And that also means they're not very good at judging themselves objectively and accurately, right? Um, and that, that should be pretty obvious. When, you, when when someone makes some aloof assessment or judgment of something, and you know, people are stunned by it, right? You, you, you're instantly kind of thinking as this kind of character internalization, whoa, like... What, does this person consistently think and appraise this way? Because it, like that's a problem. That's a problem. Um, so, in, I, I, on a personal level, there's that regard for learning and mass orientation. Well, that's all good. So, so just to recap, what is it, what is the best leadership trait? Realizing you need others. Um, you only have so many strengths, and you need, you need other people's strengths. Um, you're trying to be worldly. You're trying to have this phenomenal worldly regard. You need others in terms of delegation and expansion. Not everyone can do everything. And so, you know, a growing team actually allows growth, allows new opportunity to happen. And getting other people's feedback, seeking other people's feedback is the best way to learn and grow and master things. So I'm Bobby Ogilvie, project manager and professional coach. Talk to you soon.